Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be a crime, action, and thriller movie from 1994 called The Shawshank Redemption. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. The movie is the story of Andy Dufresne, a banker who was very successful before he got caught and accused of killing his wife and her lover. Because of this, Andy gets put in Shawshank Snake Prison for life. Shawshank is famous for being escape-proof. A lot of the prisoners have been there so long that they've spent more time inside than outside in the real world. They don't know how much has changed outside while they've been locked up. When Andy first gets to Shawshank, he keeps to himself and doesn't speak to anyone for quite a while. Eventually, he meets Red, a prisoner who sneaks forbidden items into the prison. Red has also been in jail for a long time, 20 years, and he's in for life too. Andy asks Red for a rock hammer and a poster of a movie star, Rita Hayworth. Red is curious if Andy plans to use the hammer to dig his way out, but that seems impossible with such a small tool. Andy just tells him he'll see when the hammer gets there. Red also warns Andy about a dangerous group of prisoners, but Andy still wants the hammer, which Red gets for him. Red thinks it would take 600 years to escape with it. Andy likes to carve stones, and it looks like he wanted the hammer for his hobby. Even after a terrible incident where he's attacked by some prisoners, he doesn't tell anyone about it. He keeps quiet even though he's hurt and it's clear something is wrong. One day, Andy and Red are picked to work on fixing the roof and they overhear the guard in charge, Hadley, upset about inheriting money because of taxes. Andy risks his life by offering Hadley advice on how to keep the money without paying taxes. This surprises everyone, including Hadley, who nearly threw Andy off the roof for speaking up. Before he was imprisoned, Andy was a banker. He offered to help Hadley, a prison guard, avoid taxes on inheritance, asking only for some beers for his friends in return. The next day, Andy's friends were happy, enjoying their beers on the prison roof thanks to Andy's help with Hadley's $30,000. Not long after, during a movie night for the prisoners, Andy is attacked by the same prisoners who had hurt him before. He tries to fight back this time, but ends up severely injured and hospitalized. The attacker gets thrown into solitary confinement for a week, but when he's out, Hadley takes revenge on him leaving him permanently disabled. Soon after, the prison warden, Samuel Norton, inspects Andy's cell. Eventually, he's checking the cell, but he really wants to meet Andy because he heard about the tax saving advice Andy gave Hadley. Norton takes a Bible from Andy, claiming to share the faith. Andy's cell is decorated with movie star posters, including a big one of Rita Hayworth. The warden usually doesn't allow such things, but makes exceptions for some, like Andy. Impressed, Norton offers Andy a job as an assistant librarian. Andy works under an elderly librarian who's been in charge for years. As time passes, Andy gets busier and appoints his friend Red as his assistant. One day, the librarian, fearing freedom after 50 years inside, threatens violence to stay in jail. Andy and Red convince him not to and he's released, but finds the outside world too changed and overwhelming. Tragically, unable to adapt, he ends his own life. Next, we find out that Norton has started a new scheme at Shawshank Prison called Inside Out, where inmates are sent out to work. This program is supposed to teach them the value of hard work and earning money. However, Norton is actually using it to take advantage of cheap prison labor, undercutting the cost of hiring skilled workers and getting kickbacks for it. Norton makes a lot of illegal money from this and gets Andy to help him hide it. They invented a fake person named Randall Stevens, made fake papers for him, and put all the money into his account. This way, if the police ever start investigating, they'll be chasing a ghost who doesn't exist. Then a new inmate, Tommy, arrives. He's been in and out of various jails and wants to finish high school so he can have a better life outside. Andy helps Tommy study and pass his GED test. One day, Tommy is shot to learn why Andy is in jail, given how smart and nice he is. He then shares the story of Andy and Red about a former cellmate who confessed to a crime that sounds exactly like the one Andy was convicted for, implying Andy is innocent. Andy gets excited and tells Norton about Tommy's story, hoping it could prove his innocence. But Norton doesn't want to listen because he's using Andy for money laundering. Norton sees Andy's knowledge of his schemes as a threat and locks him up in solitary confinement for a month. He then tricks Tommy into coming outside at night, pretending to discuss Andy's case, but has him killed to ensure Andy's silence and continued cooperation. Norton tells Andy that Tommy was killed trying to escape, but Andy knows it's a lie. He refuses to help Norton anymore, but Norton threatens to make his life even more miserable if he doesn't comply, leaving Andy with no choice but to keep working for him. 
After being locked up for two whole months, Andy gets out and wonders to Red if he'll ever leave Shawshank. Red thinks maybe when he's very old and not thinking clearly, he might get out. But Andy dreams of going to Zihuataneo, a beautiful place by the sea in Mexico, where he imagines opening a restaurant, fixing up a boat, and fishing with friends. Red is worried about Andy's hope, saying it can drive a man mad and reminds Andy that Mexico is a long way off. Andy admits he's stuck between continuing to live in misery or dying. He then asks Red to promise to find a specific spot in Buxton near a big tree and a rock wall where something is hidden under a black stone. Later, after doing a job for Norton, Andy leaves his paperwork in a safe and Norton asks him to get his clothes ready, shining his shoes to a mirror finish. That night, Red is anxious, fearing Andy might harm himself. The next morning, Andy doesn't come out of his cell, and when a guard checks, he's stunned. Then Norton, finding Andy's shoes in his shoe box instead of his own, realizes Andy is gone. The alarm goes off. Norton checks Andy's cell and calls Red, demanding to know Andy's whereabouts, but Red is clueless. In a fit of rage, Norton throws a rock at Andy's poster, and it goes right through, revealing a tunnel behind it. Norton reaches into the hole, shocked to discover Andy's escape route. Everyone was shocked to see the tunnel Andy had made because the wall was very thick. It seemed impossible to dig through it without heavy machinery. Yet, Andy had managed to escape. The guards found Andy's old clothes, soap, a comb, and the rock hammer Red had given him 20 years earlier. Andy had used his hammer to slowly dig the tunnel over two decades, discreetly getting rid of the dugout dirt by scattering around the prison yard. On the last night working for Norton, Andy took all the records of Norton's illegal money and left them in Norton's safe, along with the Bible Norton had once inspected, not knowing Andy's plan. Andy dressed in the clothes and shoes Norton had asked him to shine, and once the prison lights were off, he crawled through the tunnel and the prison sewage pipe to freedom. The next day, Andy posing as Randall Stevens, Norton's fictitious business partner for whom Andy had created all necessary documents while in prison went to the bank and withdrew all of Norton's hidden money, totaling $2.95 million. This made Andy a free man and wealthy man. He then sent the evidence of Norton's corruption to the press, leading to Norton's criminal activities being exposed in the newspapers. When Norton opened his safe, he found only the Bible, with a note from Andy implying that true salvation was in the Bible, along with a cut-out shape of the hammer used for the escape. Facing arrest for his crimes and exposed by the evidence Andy left behind, Norton took his own life. Later, Red, Andy's friend was released from prison. Despite feeling disconnected from the outside world after 40 years in jail, Red remembered his promise to Andy. He found the field with the big tree and the stone wall Andy had described. And under a black stone, he found a box containing a letter and some money from Andy, inviting him to join him in Cihuataneo, Mexico. Red then traveled to Cihuataneo, where he found Andy repairing a boat on the beach, living the dream he had shared in prison. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.